let's take this, head down to the shop, and uh, go and grab ourselves some money. Now, somebody's told me, if I spend this, we'll get more money back for uh, than we spend on the repaint cost. It is quite possible that, uh, yeah, the paint condition, repairing that could do us quite well. So, 14,136... So 18,386 uh, when we repaint this. Okay. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Hope Belleron. It has been a couple of months uh, in the real world since we've been on this map. And we are back on our save game on here because... Precision farming has been released and the game has been updated. So we're going to continue this on. I've had a lot of requests for people from people to continue this series. And uh, and so, yeah, we're picking up where we left off. Uh, we do have precision farming enabled on here now. So we're going to be trying that out on here. Uh, just as a reminder, for those who are catching up, uh, we have uh, field 17 and 22 and 20 this is a start from scratch series so we started with just 500,000 um for our 500,000 we actually don't own that much on this map um and we're probably going to reconfigure things a little bit because we do have the stone picker and uh, and we do have the lime uh, production but i think those two things are probably things we can get rid of uh, we're not looking to do deep work on the ground anymore uh, because we have precision farming and because we are trying to keep this environmental score as high as possible on here so what we're going to do uh, is uh, we're going to empty this out we're going to change our lime production uh, so that it is no longer storing. We're going to change the output mode to selling. So sell off this 26,000 litres of uh, lime that we've got in here. That should bring us in a good amount of money to help us going on our farm. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, yeah, go and sell our stone picker. Uh, I think it's how much is our stone picker worth on here? Uh, so that's worth 12,000. We might get up to 15,000 when we go and sell that at the shop. But uh, then we might be able to see if we can get a new piece of kit like a, uh, a cedar or something like that certainly going forwards. So we're going to hop in our uh, Voltra Valmet here and, uh, and drop that down at the shop. Uh, what I need to do first, however, is drop the forks off the front and the weight off the back so that we can uh, we can sort that out uh, drop those off and then bring this around here I have noticed since the latest patch the force feedback on my wheel is working uh, again which is good I'm uh, I'm quite pleased with that. I know a few people did have some problems with the 1.4 patch when it first came out. Uh, thankfully, I had oh, wow done all of my recordings recently with that manual attach does not seem to be working. Let's try that again. Okay, I might have to disable manual attach on here. Yeah, it looks like manual attach isn't working. So we will drop that off. And uh, we'll have to live without it for now. I am going to be jumping out of this tractor, though, on a regular basis. Trying to detach stuff uh, when uh, I actually can't. So, um, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see what's going on there. I'm going to investigate that a little bit. Hopefully that will get fixed soon. Because uh, as you all know, that is a mod that I really, really like to use. So let's take this, head down to the shop and uh, go and grab ourselves some money. Because it's no longer useful for us. Now every way, everything we're doing in trying to reconfigure our farm today is all about trying to be as uh, as high and as 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 best as we can do in precision farming 
uh, going forwards. So that is trying to till the ground as little as possible. Uh, that is trying to... Um, I, I, I'd like to use a spot weeder, but I have a feeling the uh, the, the the spot weeder uh, is a uh, sprayer is is quite an expensive one to have, and I think what we'll probably end up doing in its stead is actually just running with a weeder on there. Let's have a look at this. So uh, now somebody's told me if I spend this, we'll get more money back for. Uh, than we spend on the repaint cost, which seems a little bit odd, if I'm honest. Uh, it's 13,000 for this Dagelman. Let's just have a look in the shop how much this is worth. Uh, stone pickers, right. So, oh, is that we could, actually? Uh, is that the one we've got? Uh, yeah, we do. So we do have the bigger one, and it's worth up to 41,000. So... It is quite possible. Ooh, it is quite possible that, uh, yeah, the paint condition, repairing that could do us quite well. So I'm going to repair it first because that's worth it. So we're looking at this being worth uh, about uh, 14,000 once we do this. Yes, so 14,136. So 18,386. Uh, no, it needs to be, it needs to be worth more than 14,136, uh, when we repaint this. Uh, okay. Yeah, that has actually added a really decent amount of money onto the top of it. Um, we are, uh, yeah, that, that's, that has actually done it so yeah it's worth repainting as well uh so let's sell that yes takes us up to fifty eight thousand six hundred and sixty two so this is good this is this is gonna be us um doing uh very nicely and reworking our farm now i do want to try and get uh, a direct cedar here um there's nothing in here so uh, what I'm going to actually do is hold off on that for now. We will keep an eye on the shop, though, because the shop is going to be uh, a great place for us uh, to pick up something a little bit cheap. We are not in need of a direct seeder right now. Uh, we have all of our barley seeded from last year. Uh, what we do need to do, and what I want to ask you guys about, is should we do the uh soil sampling ourselves or should we pay somebody to do it let me know in the comments down below we are probably going to go up a growth stage so it'll be after harvest now that we do the soil sampling if we do it ourselves um but we can still pay for the soil to be sampled while our while our crop is in the ground otherwise so yeah let us know in the comments what you think we should do um and uh, and we can either hold that off until we've done the harvest or we can uh, we can get it sampled earlier and get our environmental score up a lot sooner back down to our farm and our lime production i believe has now sold everything i remember at the time we had oh, let's turn the indicator off and do we have a beacon on top of this? No, we don't. Um, I had tried to put the beacon on, but uh, yeah, it appears we don't have one. So our line production is complete. And I know when we first put this in, this was uh, this was something that we thought was going to bring us in a fair amount of money. We have one of these on no man's land. Uh, as I said, we're not planning to do deep work in the soil anymore on this map. So uh, let's head into here. And we can sell this off as well now. So there it is. And uh, that is going to earn us 7,473. So uh, we will sell that. Uh, yes. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, that actually gives us a little bit more uh, concrete area around our farm. Um, we have got our greenhouses here this greenhouse is looking pretty good it is producing lettuce tomatoes and strawberries at the moment um we have fifteen thousand liters of water in this so this is this is still looking very healthy 
what I want to try and do, I think, it, going forward, is maybe try and bake a cake. I think that would be a really good aim for what we're trying to do on this map. So, so far, we have produced uh, some strawberries. Uh, we've got some barley on the way. Uh, we have got eggs on the way as well. Those are going to be necessary for a cake too. Um, it's just really milk. Milk and butter are the other two things. So it's trying to find somewhere for us to put in some cows. Now there is a good area up the top there that would do us quite well for cows. So let's just jump in the truck quickly. And uh, we're going to go up to the top of our field. And I think we identified this earlier on in the series for somewhere where I would like to install cows on here. It does mean that we're probably going to have to do some uh, work on uh, doing uh, contracting with silage and grass to get some hay and some silage bales in. But yeah, we've got this area up here. Uh, it's fairly flat. We didn't extend the field all the way up here because it got a little bit um, a little bit difficult. But this certainly should be good enough for a cow field. Let's have a look at what we have in here. I don't think we have a cheap enough cow area. Yeah, 75,000. We could put... Yeah, so there we go. We could put an area of cows up here. Alternatively, we could put, uh, yeah, an area of cows, uh, put some cows there and produce a bit of milk. So there's certainly space for us to do this. And because it's on a slope, one of the nice things about FS22 uh, is that you can put animal areas like this on a slope. Uh, we then got a little bit of grass area around it that we could do as well. Uh, alternatively, when we get a bit more money in, uh, you can put a, a, like a cow shed on here as well, um, which would work fairly well. So, yeah, there's plenty of opportunity. It would have to go at the top. The only area that is anywhere near flat enough to put this is at the top. So, yeah, there's a lot of options. Oh, and then it gets too big. So, uh, yeah, but there are also other options for uh, us to do cows. So, I think once we get a little bit better off with the cash that heading up here and uh, and putting at least a small cow area in will be useful for us and then maybe keep making a bit of a grass area around it we should be able to get a mower um for not too much and uh, and maybe do some stuff around that uh so that'll be fairly useful what have we got around here on our farm that would work to be sold or or rejigged a bit i think some more chickens would be good so we've got our chicken area around here uh, i like the idea of another chicken area around here maybe for us to do uh would be quite good and that would produce some more eggs and work out fairly well for us yeah we've not got we don't own much on this farm to be honest we really don't uh but this is the thing. We're in March and there's not a lot for us to do on the farm today. So I'm going to pop into here and do something we were looking at for a while. Uh, we've got a lot of various contracts we can be doing around here. Looking at the price of these, maybe there's the opportunity to buy a cultivator or something to go and do these fields with. Uh, fertilizing. Oh, here we go. Here is an opportunity for us to make some money without uh, having to spend much. Uh, both fields thir 5 and 30 are a decent price. I think we will accept this contract on field 30. Uh, which is where on our map? Uh, field 30 field 30 is over there. I don't think this will take us too long with our spreader. So uh, we'll stick the forks back on our on our tractor. In fact, no, we are going to go and get a new piece of kit with this. We're going to stick the front weight on the front of our tractor. Heads down to the shop. 
with our uh, front loader and our piece of kit over here. I don't know if we've got any fertilizer in this, but I think adding a big bag lifter onto the front of this and getting that would be good. I also think a flatbed trailer is something that we could really do with on this farm as well. So far on here, we've been doing all of our selling using the truck. Um, but I'm not sure that that is going to be a good way to go forwards. So let's head down to the shop, uh, get refilled with some fertilizer, and maybe we can get a bit more money coming in today. And, uh, and yeah, really get the farm looking in a much, much better place. Uh, ready for the rest of this series. I've learned quite a bit since we were last on here. I mean, it was I think it was it was January when we last did a video on this series. So uh, yeah, been a good two months. And uh, oh, see, manual attach. Uh, so it's it's been quite a uh, quite an eventful couple of months. Uh, just sort of learning bits and pieces. And, uh, and my playstyle has changed a little bit as a result as well. So, uh, I am approaching things a little bit differently. We are doing these, uh, we are doing days now at 10 times and, uh, and, and trying to, and skipping days when we, uh, when we don't necessarily need to be, to be doing stuff. Um, I'm not, I don't want to immediately skip now because of course this is the first day we are back on here. Uh, and so doing a contract, I think, is a good way for us to go. Let's pop into here. I haven't got the field analyzer mod on here. I really should get that enabled. So uh, I'm going to put a couple of big bags in here, I think, and see where we go from there. So uh, big bags. We want some fertilizer. Yeah, it's fairly expensive is the fertilizer. Customize two of the no, not eight of these. Two of these should do it. Buy that, yes, please. Okay. There we go. That is still the cheapest way to do it. Oh, and also with that, uh, we want a new front loader tool. As I was saying earlier, uh, I wish to add a big bag lifter. So let's buy one of those as well. Yep, which is only seven hundred. There we are. So now we can come round to here and get this on. So connect that up. Angle us forward. Hook into that like so. Really, really nicely works. I don't know actually if I needed the weight on the back of this. Um, I put it on here because uh, I figured I didn't want to drive all the way down to this shop and discover that I did actually need the weight on the back of this. So let's do that there. I'm quite excited to be back on here. This is a lovely map, uh, Hope Bellon. It's uh, it's really gorgeous, and I I never felt that I got enough chance uh, to explore it. So how, being back on here and and being able to to have a bit of a more of a play round on here on this series is uh, is quite cool. I like that a lot. Right. So what I'm going to do is <coughs> just bring this here. Uh, we will switch over and drop that off. Not going to leave the bit on the front as well. I'll just leave all of this down here. So, yeah. There we go. Right. Uh, I've taken to not removing front, the front loader on, uh, on tractors on a regular basis. It would be quite a job in real life. And, uh, and yeah, you wouldn't keep dropping it off and picking it up. If we get a smaller tractor on here, what we might do is uh, see if we can uh, switch it over to that. Um, but field 30, I think we want to just pop over the river again and then pop back because it's 
quite big. And uh, yeah, it's the other side of the lake around here. So otherwise, we're just going the long way around. So field 30 is just in here. Over that way. You see, there's quite a lot of weeds in this. So it's a fairly big field. Uh, this should still handle it. Uh, if it costs more fertilizer than this to do it, that's that's not going to be great. But precision farming in the past has used less fertilizer. So hopefully this is not going to be too big a job. All right. Ooh. However, what it isn't is up to the edge. There we go. I think you could... Somebody said you can ex increase... The width of this no i think it's i think it's its bigger brother that you can increase the width of this all right turn it on make sure we're right up to the edge which we are and the return of the on screen or on map uh indicator i've missed that so much first run has given us a 10% completion for this field, which is absolutely great news. It's slightly off course, but uh, okay. We are getting a really good coverage. Uh, if these two bags... Well, these two bags should do these fields. It's a case of how much is going to be left over once uh, we reach the end of this field. Uh, if we've got half of what we've got... Uh, of, of what we started, so I think that's about... Uh, 1,200 litres. If we're left with 1,200 litres at the end of this field, then um, we should be able to go and do a second field. If not, um, it's going to be a little bit more uh, hit and miss. Uh, what we do have is uh, we've got the uh, the applicating, uh, application rate at the top left. We, of course, don't have this field scanned. We don't know what the soil type is or anything like that. So, as a result, we're not actually getting an application rate. So, I think this is doing a flat application rate on here. Which isn't great, but uh, considering that we don't own the field, uh, is uh, is not overly surprising on a contract. It has been a little while since we've been on here. I, I just realised that I have the number for field 41 flashing, which means we have an active contract on there as well. And, uh, yeah, we do. We have a sewing contract uh, that is uh, up on Field 41 as well. So we might try and clear that off today. Um, I, I have tabbed over there. I've had a look. We have another Vultra sitting there um, just waiting to be used for that contract. So I might as well go and use that and, uh, and get that cleared today as well. Uh, seeing as that sitting there waiting for us. To do it uh i would guess it's all filled with fertilizer and everything uh if uh, sorry with seed and everything to go and do that also give us a chance to try out the variable seeding uh, or the variable seed rate on here of course as it's another contract it's unlikely to show the actual variable seed rate but uh, it will at least bring the indicator up and we can see how all that works. I do like the fact that precision farming, you no longer have to have that help menu up in order to see what precision farming is doing. Uh, it does give you that nice indicator at the top left hand of the screen, which is great. We are now 50% of the way through this contract. So hopefully it's not going to be too long until uh, it's finished. Now, some of you earlier may have been shrieking at me and uh, and saying in the comments uh, or, or furiously typing in the comments. Uh, you already had fertilizer in this. And yeah, I've realized that um, the big bags that we put in were only a thousand liters each. So uh, we had fertilizer in here already and uh, it's uh, it's boosted how much we've had in here does tend to show that this contract is is less far worse or worth far less uh than we initially thought because if we're having to buy at least two sets of big bags at nearly two thousand 
pounds that's bad if we're having to uh, buy more than that uh then that is really bad that's you know that is uh then sort of six thousand to just to do this field which because there is only a 17,000 uh, contract is a lot. And if we'd had to hire the equipment too, that would have reduced our uh, our uh, profits even further. So, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting that uh, this is worth about half the money it says it is once you take the costs of fertilizers into account. Which, honestly... Seems to be a little bit topical with farmers around here at the moment. Not got a huge amount more to do on this field. Oh, gonna turn that off there. Spin around. Kind of got the semicircle about right now, I think. For this. Uh, yeah, my, I'm quite happy with my turning circle. And, uh, and getting it onto the next row. Uh, we are at about 95% complete, I think. Uh, and I'm expecting this row probably to complete this. Uh, it's sort of a fairly thin strip we've got down the edge there uh, to finish it off. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we are down to 600 litres of fertiliser. So, uh, the fertilizer has not gone anywhere near as far as I hoped it would on this field. Uh, it has helped us use up some of the excess fertilizer we had kicking about, I think. But it is still going to be quite a, uh, ah, there we go, expensive endeavor to get this done. But that has completed the contract on here 13,000 well it was only 13,000 so yeah it's only about a 6,000 uh contract once you take everything into consideration so let's collect that um and then I'm gonna go and find field 41 where is field 41 on here it's over here and you see actually we've got a tractor sitting there so let's uh let's just uh head over there and we'll uh and we'll go and see what's going on and whether we do actually have any seeds in our cedar over that way. If there are seeds already in this cedar, that would be good. It looks like it's another Ultra, but in uh, more of the uh, darker blue than our own is. Let's have a look. There we go. And I'm guessing, yeah. So it's Field 41, which is over there. I think we've used this cedar a fair amount. And currently it's got sugar beet in it. But we can switch that over to sunflowers. Start this up. And yeah, shouldn't be a huge job to get this done. Especially with this cedar. Uh, it's, it's not a bad cedar at all. But a swift job. Also, we do have GPS on this. Although I'm not going to use it on a tractor of this age. Ah. But uh, it would uh, definitely work fairly well for us with something newer. Right, let's hook this up. Yeah, I am still forgetting. And let's fold it. Bring it round. And are we going to have... Uh, it's 157 litres going to be enough. If not, we might be able to sort out that flatbed trailer and uh, and get it over here. But we'll see how we go. Uh, this is going to be fairly swift because that is... Um, that is not moving slowly. This piece of kit is eating up this field quite quickly. We're already 20 to 30% of the way through this contract uh however uh, it's also eating through the seed fairly quickly as well you can see that we're down to 30 liters of seed so what i think we're going to do is uh have to go and grab ourselves a bag of seed uh we're not very far from the shop here so we should be able to 
go and do that. Uh, can we make it down and back? Maybe. That would be good. Um, not that it makes much difference because we'll uh, we should fairly easily uh, complete this way with whatever we have. I did not lower my cedar. Let's bring that back here. Lower the cedar. And away we go. So the rain is coming down and we have run out of seeds. So what I'm going to do is we're just taking our fertilizer spreader back to the shop here. We're going to park that up. Uh, grab a big bag along with our big bag loader. And just run the bag down to the field there. Because we're not that far away. Uh, no. Attach that. There we go. Our manual attach cannot be repaired quickly enough. It does, of course, happen with mods and updates to games. A mod can be uh, broken by a game fairly often when it does an update so we'll have to to see what's happening uh let me know in the comments actually if you've had an issue with manual attach uh and this i know a couple of people on my facebook have and it doesn't seem to have been fixed by the hot fix uh seeds are only 800 so that's fine for a thousand liters so we'll buy that that is easily going to be enough to finish this field All right, there we go. Uh, right, time to be naughty. All things considered, it's gone fairly well today. We've, we've well, I say fairly well. We started off with 30,000. Yes, we've sold some bits and, uh, and other bits and pieces, but I think we're, I think we're pretty sound in where we are. Uh, will all of these seeds go in here? I'm not sure. If they don't, they don't um i have got seeds back at the uh, farm as well so yeah we could possibly have filled up with those but i don't want to drive all the way back so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna park this tractor over at the side of the field here beyond where we're gonna turn with our seed up i'm gonna jump back in this and get this field finished it's chucking it down now, but that hasn't stopped us. We are about 90% through this now. And this should line us up right. Get us in the right place. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, we seem to be getting a good coverage. So yeah, there we go. 90% complete on this contract. Uh, still got 400 litres of... Uh, seeds left but what i'm going to do is i'm going to refill this with seeds when we finish uh, and then we'll get reimbursed for all the seeds that we leave in our cedar uh, so it shouldn't cost us as much and just makes this whole thing that little bit more profitable as a result uh, but all in all it is very very nice it's got it's got worked well uh, this tractor, I do like this vulture. I forgot how much I like this vulture because I haven't used it for a while. Um, because obviously we haven't been on here and uh, and I haven't had the chance. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it works really well. Although that this is quite dark at the moment. I'm expecting this contract to finish at any moment now. There we go. All done. That's as much as he wants to be planted. So what I'm going to do is take this over to our seeds over here, as I said. Uh, we'll try and refill the rest of uh, the seeds into this. And then uh, we can return this, get a refund on the seeds we leave in it. And see where we are overall. There we go. Turn that off. This tractor does reverse drive. It's got reverse wheel, hasn't it? Yeah. So this is a reverse driving tractor, this uh, Vulture of Armour. Not many of those in the game at the moment, though. 
forwards and there we go right oh 41 liters really i know this contract's complete but we might as well give him a, a little bit more just because i don't want this bag hanging around so we need to use 41 liters bet that's going to finish off this field completely isn't it uh so we want to go down to 619 it's going to be the tiniest amount that's left because yeah this is not going to take that many seeds Oh, no, nope, there we go, 6.33. So, yeah. We're almost better off, almost, unloading all the seeds from this and taking them, but uh, won't do it into a bag, so. Let's just park this under here, unload the rest of these. And to uh, get the payment. There we go. Yeah. Right, let's turn this off. And let's complete that contract as well. And there we go. All done and dusted. 4,602 from that contract, uh, which is pretty nice. Right, I am going to head back to my farm because it is 10 past 6 in the evening. Uh, we are going to get this back. We may jump ahead a few days because, yeah, there's not an awful lot to do. We've got 80,000 in the bank. Um, I'd like to see if some interesting things come up in the shop for us. But uh, for now, I think our best bet is to end this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.